Hey there, it's UFO Jane from Texas UFOs, and I thought I'd check in because, like some of you perhaps, I was on the edge of my seat today listening to and watching the live NASA press conference that announced the discovery of Earth-like planets, dubbed the TRAPPIST-1 planets, in a distant star system that may indeed harbor water or life. Now, this is a bit of a letdown. <laughs> We're used to seeing headlines like these. There might be habitable worlds out there, or even life on Mars. There's even a May 2016 Wikipedia cached page for TRAPPIST-1 and that talks about how there's Earth-sized planets orbiting a dwarf star in the habitable zone. So it just looks like we're getting more clues and evidence to suggest that there could be life there, but we still don't have any proof. So what is all the commotion about this with this press conference and anticipation and why all the excitement from the NASA scientists? Because let me tell you, they were excited. And honestly, I am too after watching it. Um, so I, although the announcement is interesting, that's not really what I got out of the conference. It was all the things said in between. One quote that really stuck out to me, and I'm paraphrasing these quotes a little bit. There's been a crescendo to answer these questions that have been on all of our minds. Are we alone in the universe? This is the right time to have this discovery right now. Why is this the right time? A discovery of alien life is a discovery of alien life. Years and years of searching for more evidence, but not quite discovering it, are just years and years of more searching. There's no discovery there. Why is now the right time? Why are we so sure we're going to discover alien life? Now, there were some other really interesting quotes. Likely nature is way more beautiful than what we've animated here. Why is that likely? Why are you so sure? Um, they talked about Mars, how there's abundant water on Mars. Uh, they said, if nature is ubiquitous, we'll find it right away. If it isn't, we'll, it'll take longer. So I think that's really key. Because while they're saying we expect a discovery, perhaps I heard the 2020 was a date thrown out. If we did expect a discovery soon, um, then does that mean that nature is ubiquitous? And that's what we think. Um, Another quote, the answers to the questions, are we alone, are being answered right now in this decade. Again, we are discovering ET life perhaps in this decade. Is this kind of what they're saying? Now, the UFO community has been guessing that we're going to get some soft form of disclosure soon. Is this part of it? It's really hard to argue that this, this isn't. Here we have a poster of this potentially habitable distant planet that on one hand NASA says we're not going to get to a craft anytime soon, just telescopes. Um, but here we have the whole vision of actually visiting as space tourists. Now remember, NASA likes to make fun posters like this. There's Mars colonization posters to get us inspired about that. Maybe get our kids inspired. Maybe this isn't about us, the average YouTube viewer right now. Maybe this is about the kids. So yeah, what do you guys think? Did you watch the press conference? What did you get out of it? Do you think that there is alien life out there, perhaps visiting? Are we going to find out anytime soon? Are we going to get soft disclosure, full disclosure, no disclosure? Is there anything to disclose at all? Let me know in the comments. If you feel so compelled, follow. Well, yeah, report your sighting too. <laughs> But follow on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. I'd love to hear from you guys.